the camera. Hi, Johnny. Uh, so today we're going to try a cheese. We're going to try a cloth-bound cheddar. So this is a traditional cloth-bound cheddar made in Somerset. One of the last four what we call proper cheddars, really. What do we mean by that? Well, cloth-bound. See, this is a very British thing to do, is to wrap it cloth. And all the classics have it. Lancashire, double Gloucester, and cheddar. Um, this cheese is unpasteurised. It's made with some very specific starter cultures. It even has the specific starter cultures on the label, so you know exactly which starter culture it was made with. So the devil's in the detail, basically, these sort of things. Um, this cheese is unusual in that it's two years old. So up until now, all we saw the cheese was about one year old. This was made on the 27th of November 2018, though, so it's pushing two years. So this is the first time we've had a cheese of this age. So though, what we do is we get a, get a knife and get a cheese iron. So that's, that's a cheese iron. This is what we need to take core samples to taste, to taste the cheese. And we try it, and we talk about it, and then, yeah, hopefully you can come down and you can buy some. All we have at the moment is half a cheese. So if you want to get some, you better come down quick and grab it, because apparently it's delicious. I'm about to find out. I've been putting off trying it for quite a while, because um, I knew I was going to have to... I wanted this to be a surprise, basically. So my reaction is genuine. Okay, so what do we do when we're doing uh, ironing a cheese? I'll show you what we do. So basically, we have to get to the cloth, take a knife, and just do a little, a little score like that. Some people just stab it, just go for it. But I think it's a little bit more, it's good to be a bit more delicate with these cheeses. Okay, so. Okay. Right. Okay, so what we do, three rotations. Take it out. There you go. So before these were invented, you had to cut a cheese to find out if it tasted any good. But if it didn't taste any good or it was too young, you couldn't then stick it back together. So these things are very, very useful to the cheese maker. One thing to look at actually when you're, when you're ironing a cheese, if you look at the back, you can see how much, how much cheese is on the back. That tells you how much moisture is in the cheese. This looks like a reasonably um, uh, moist cheddar actually. Got some nice butter fats on the back there. So what do we do? We take a bit off. And we take two bits off. I think Johnny also deserves to try it. And also we take the last bit off of the cheese, like that. So I'm going to put this back in, so it's like we were never there. Okay. So I'll just take this, push it back in, put my finger on, and pull it out. Take a bit of cheese, smear it on. So what that does is it creates a seal. So it means the air won't get in and cause gluing. So I've sealed it back up. Okay. And now, I'm going to taste this. So it's quite a small bit, and I don't want to be too greedy, because we want to sell it so we can to you a lot. Sometimes when people are creating cheddars, they'll do a thing where they'll, they'll push it between their fingers to feel the body and the texture. I don't like doing that, because that's not what customers do when they eat it. They put it in the mouth and eat it. So I'm, I'm experiencing it as you would eat it when you're at home. Because um, I'm guessing you don't push it up with your fingers when you when you try it, because that would be a weird thing to do, unless you're a cheese grater. So let's put it, so it's actually quite pale in colour for a two-year-old cheese. They can get darker as they age because these cloths are breathable, so it'll get darker as the moisture leaves the cheese. Uh, this is actually looking quite pale, but still a nice colour, very ivory colour. Actually, let's turn this around so you can see the colour. The other thing you might notice, actually, before I try this, is this flash of blue. So because this cloth is breathable, it means that moisture leaves the cheese as it ages, but it also means that you can get some air penetration. If air gets in, it wakes up these blue moulds, which are dormant, but they're aerobic. So if air gets them, then they'll, then they'll grow and go blue. So that's how you make blue in all blue cheeses. You pierce it, air goes in, the blue wakes up, and it breaks down the cheese and gives you a different flavour. So if you see a blue in a cloth bun cheddar, don't worry about it. It's absolutely fine. It's the same stuff as you get in any blue cheese, okay? So, yeah, I actually like it. I think it's delicious, but yeah. Okay, so let's try this thing. Here we go. There's crystals in there, which is what you get with age. It's a protein called tyrosine. There's no way of rushing it. It takes ages for it to develop. So anything over 12 months to 18 months, you start to get crystals. And it gives you a real sort of umami, crunchy sweetness, which is delicious. This is very buttery, as the back of the cheese I had suggested, because there's butter fats on the back of there. This is pretty awesome, actually. Real umami, that flavour, umami. So kind of almost like a soy, not quite soy sauce, but almost like a beef, beef like bouillon, sort of intense savouriness to it. Brilliant salt. Salt's there, but it's it's part of the overall flavour. So although there's good salt, it's not salty. It's salty in the way that um, marmite is perceived as salty, or, or stock is perceived as salty. It's like a savoury salt. It's, it's like the bottom of the roasting tray when you roast it some beef. Scrape some of that off and eat it. That's what I'm getting. So, 
This is an awesome cheese and it's packed full of flavour as well. It's really good. This is very savoury, very meaty, balanced. You don't need loads of it though because it's got such a powerful flavour. Yeah, I'm glad I pot of tasted this because <laughs> this genuinely is my initial reaction. And um, yeah, I can see why they wanted to, um, why they're so chuffed with this cheese. So they only started making cheese about two, three years ago. So this is one of the earliest cheeses they made. And they kept it just to check on the profile. They, I don't think they thought it would age well. So when they tried it, they tasted as good as this. They were very, very pleasantly surprised. So hopefully going forward, we can eat a lot more of the cheeses up to two years. We'll have a lot more cheese on this level profile. Okay, cool. I've probably talked a lot. I usually do talk a lot. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, I'm glad you joined us for this film. Um, come down, get some of this cheddar while you can. And until then, bye.